All right, welcome to the first segment of Five Minutes with Fez. I'm Adam Feza. I'm joined here today with Tyrone Davis of the Alfred State men's basketball team. Uh, Tyrone, how about you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I'm from Brooklyn. Uh, I play point guard. Um, my major is technology management, and um, I hope to continue playing basketball after I finish Alfred State. All right. Now, Tyrone's having a great season right now. He's averaging 10 points, 9 assists, and 4 rebounds a game. Now, Tyrone, when did you first, first start playing basketball? Uh, probably when I was about seven, because my father used to play basketball. He was really good. He won national championships in college. Um, usually, everybody in my neighborhood just played basketball, so that's, that's where it kind of started. But, I mean, I just kept Kind of just picked it up. Yeah, so then what, what made you decide to come down for state? Um, Brooklyn? I went to Benjamin Banneke Academy for high school, and I went to Fulton Montgomery Community College. I had sprained my ankle, so I couldn't really get a lot of looks or whatever, so two of my former teammates, Marquise Edwards and Dondre Davis, they was already committed to coming here, so I figured I might as well just come here. Might as well join the three, bring it out the state. All right, I like that. All right, now you guys had a pretty slow start to the season, but picked it up these last 12 games, winning the eight, eight of the last 12. Now, what's changed since the slow start? Um, I think now we realize that it's not going to be easy, because I feel like we know we have a good team, but we was losing a lot of close games. A lot of guys felt like, all right, we're going to beat them by 20, beat them by 30. And it's, you got to play against everybody. Yeah. So I think now everybody's more focused. We're playing defense, and it, we're just coming together. Playing more in the system. Yeah. Right, so over break, you had some changes to the basketball team, adding Saquon Chambers from an NAIA Division One school. Now, how has he helped the team? Um, he's, he's helping. It's taking him some time because you got to think, before the season started for us, we had two months of practice. He's coming off of six days of practice and he just jumped right in. So yeah. he's slowly, you know, fitting in with the team. Um, I mean, I, I think he, before the end of the season, he could definitely be a huge help in scoring, rebounding, give us a, a good presence inside. He had a good game too, 17-16 yeah. over break, which is pretty promising for the yeah. rest of the season. That's definitely something that we've been missing. We've been getting out-rebounded and he brings more toughness to the team as well. Good, good. Now, talking about you, what's been your favorite moment at Alfred State? Um, I probably have to say Last year, we had our first win against Morrisville. Yeah. Our first win of the season here, because for a minute, it felt like we had a curse over us. Like, didn't know what a win felt like. So yeah. we finally beat Morrisville. It was, it was that was a 20 point blowout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that oh, was yeah. Good. I remember that one. That was a good one. All right. Time to go into the fun questions, all right? The serious ones. Now, if you had an option at any store to max out a credit card, what would it be? Any store? Like, Nike? Yeah, so I get me all the copies I can get. <laughs> I like that. I like that. All right, so now going back to your childhood, what, what was your favorite TV show growing up? Favorite TV show growing up? SpongeBob and Family Guy. SpongeBob and Family yeah. Guy? So I guess coming from those two shows, if you ever had to pick a character from one of them, what would your character be that you can most relate to? Um, probably SpongeBob. Probably SpongeBob? Yeah. <laughs> Cause it, no, I'm always happy. I'm never nobody can really get me too upset. So yeah, probably funny about it. All right, all right. Now, what's your favorite bag of chips? Favorite bag of chips. Those Tostitos. The, Which ones? That you need to you need dip. You but need I don't dip. eat. I don't use dip. I just use the Tostitos. It's like, it's like corn chips, but, but you know what I'm talking about. The scoops. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the scoops. <laughs> all right. Now, last question. You had one superpower, what would it be? And if you could fight one superhero, who would you fight? I, I have one superpower. I want to. I want to be like Spider Man. So I'll probably Spider. Yeah, just have Is that yeah, NYC in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if I had to fight anybody, um, who would I want to fight? Probably, probably the Incredible Hulk. Hulk? Cause, yeah, because he's angry. And me being little, I have this little little man syndrome where I get more angry at bigger people because I feel like they try to overpower me. So if I could take out the Hulk, I'll, I'll feel good about that, myself. That would be good on your resume. Mm -hmm. All right. Heard here first. Tyrone Davis could do it. He would take out the Incredible Hulk. I'm Adam Feza. This has been the first segment of Five Minutes with Fez.